When I'm creating a new design, I always want the knitter to have a very pleasant experience while they're working my pattern. And that's why I created my Stitch Saver Row Checkers. It's a document designed to help you keep track of your stitch count row by row throughout your entire pattern. And also all the shaping, decreases, increases, or special stitches. So it's designed to help you make fewer mistakes, save stitches, uh, and make your knitting much more enjoyable. Now I'll show you how that applies to one of my patterns. Here we have the pattern for the Sophia Slouchy V-neck sweater. So the row checker starts with the lower body in the front. This pattern is worked from the bottom up, and the front and the back are separate pieces, and then the sleeves are added. So what you do is you start with your cast on stitches and they're shown in this column. And here's the check off box and you work through these, this section of the pattern until you come to row 54. So now you go to your second chart and the, the body, the upper front has two sections, the left and the right. So here are the stitches in the left section at the end of each row and in the right section. And here's two columns of checkoff boxes. So you can check off as you work one and then the other. And this is where your V-neck shaping is occurring. And that continues until you're ready to work the shoulder and continue the V-neck shaping to the very end. And here's the little legend with all the abbreviations defined for shoulder shaping, neck shaping, increases and decreases. Now the lower back is pretty straightforward. You cast on and you work that all the way to this point, 89 rows, actually to 99 rows. And then you do the left shoulder and the neck for shoulder shaping, neck shaping. It's indicated again, row by row and then the right shoulder and neck. And then you're ready to move on to the sleeve. And for each sleeve, what you'll do is you'll pick up stitches around the armhole and you will refer to your chart. So there's two checkoff box columns, one for each sleeve. And here's the number of stitches you're picking up. Here are the decreases and the frequency for those. And the stitch count continues for every row until you get down to the cuff. And then that's identified and you finish off the cuff and bind off. So many of my patterns include the Stitch Saver Row Checker. And I hope you can see that what that means is you are likely to make fewer mistakes, save lots of stitches, and enjoy worry-free knitting, which sounds like a lot more fun. Thanks for watching. I'm James Cox. I can't stop knitting.